Now here we are going to make use of this uh, simple logic and we can get the data from a particular table. So any table, any standard table, I'll take any standard table and uh, we can take somewhere around uh, something around something like uh, uh, you know KNA1 or LFA1. So LFA1 is for vendor master data. So I'll go for this vendor master data, check CL underscore SALV, CL underscore SALV underscore GUI underscore table underscore table underscore IDA. This is something which we have as a SAP standard class CL underscore SALV underscore GUI underscore table underscore IDA. And in this leg, we have a static static method. That static method name is DB DB So we have db underscore capabilities. So this db underscore capabilities happens to be the methods method. It's an SAP standard method. And in this we have something like is underscore table. So we have selected we have this is underscore table underscore supported. So we can select that from the drop down. IS underscore table underscore supported, that's a free. And then we have again, in this we have IV underscore DDIC underscore table name. IV underscore, I'll write this in the DDIC underscore table underscore name. Okay, is equal to whatever table from which we want to get the data. That is, uh, I've selected it as a V, uh, what do you call uh, I wanted it to be. LFA1, right? So LFA1 table. In the bracket, we need to write LFA1. And this has to be inside this bracket. So inside this closed bracket. Okay, so this is what we have. Check this is CL underscore SALV underscore GU underscore table underscore IDA uh, is the class in which we have DB underscore capabilities is a static method in that we have IS underscore table underscore supported uh, in which we have to pass the value for this table name as LF1. Whatever table we want to get the data, we can pass the name of that uh, table here. And after that, we have to go for uh, we have to go for create ALV grid. ALV grid. So for ALV grid, what we need to do is now, now that we have given the table name from which we have to get the data. So what we need to do is we need to write data, okay, data. Say I'll go for object. This is object. I'm giving the name as O underscore IDA. It can be anything. Okay, object for IDA. O underscore IDA is equal to. This can be anything as I told you. Is equals to. This needs to be exactly the same as above. Okay, so CL underscore SALV, SALV underscore GUI underscore table underscore IDA, IDA, create. So IV underscore table underscore name equal to uh, LFA1. So basically in the in the top we are just checking if it is supported or not. Okay, first statement which we have written is actually optional but this is mandatory. So we are getting the data, we are creating this and uh, we, we have to click on full stop. So we have to get the data from LFA1 D. Then we have, uh, we need to restrict the maximum number of rows. Okay, so rows which can be accessed here we need to restrict that maximum rows. So here we are getting the data from LFA1 into the ALV. Okay, so here we'll go for if CL underscore S ALV underscore CL underscore S ALV underscore 
gui underscore table underscore ida db underscore capabilities so db underscore capabilities this is the one db underscore capabilities in which we need to write this as is underscore maximum rows recommended okay. is underscore maximum rows recommended and in this we have to give full stop so what are we doing here is like we are getting the data from that this one and uh, end it so we'll give this i and maximum number of rows as something like i'll, I'll do even more simpler one after coming back and we we'll do a couple of other lvs also lv then we have this as set underscore maximum number of rows set underscore maximum number of rows in which we have iv underscore number underscore of underscore rows is equal to so something like thousand underscore id equal to o underscore id full screen o underscore id is what we have mentioned here so whatever we have mentioned the object name we have to give the same name here so o underscore id full screen and here we will go for this one. We need to go for display, right? So display. display. That's it. So we are getting the maximum number of rows is thousand. So we are just uh, let's let's uh, uh, save it, check the syntax, and activate it. We just need to check the syntax. So now you get exactly 1000 records from the LFA1 table. So you get the 1000 records from the LFA1 table. So these all records are coming from LFA1. So this is the code that we have written just now. And uh, what are we going to do is we are going to come back and uh, do a few more examples for this IDA based database, which will actually give us more. Uh, understanding about the idea based 